Well, hey guys, this is the Red Odeo uh, 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. They reached out and asked if I would uh, do a review of it in my videos, and I said, sure, send it on over. So here it is, I'm gonna go ahead and get it unboxed. So I opened the box and took that out. This is the uh, post. Back up here. This is the battery. It's been shipped really well. Holy cow, this thing is small. So this is their mini, and it is small. Throw all that stuff away. So this is like this thing is teeny, and it's uh, 1,280 watt hours. So I'm gonna uh, get a voltage on it and charge it. So did a little, uh, just did the voltage there, so 13.18. So needs a little charge. They say it could be 30 to 50%. Um, I got this for my bus because I thought I had broken a terminal and I didn't and I got it at a good price, so I'm just gonna keep it. So I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to mount this on here and then go throw it outside to charge um, with the uh, solar. And just to kind of show a comparison, this is my other battery. So you can see the size difference. That thing is uh, pretty small, but I think I'm gonna try to get some 12 volt connectors for it and uh, we'll give it a shot. So one thing I wanted to do is show you, so this battery right there is 1,280 watts and it's this big and weighs 20 pounds maybe. That 8D battery in there, there's two of them they weigh 160 pounds a piece. And I ended up uh, cycling this. This came out of my bus and I only got about 2000 watts total. So a thousand watts out of each of those batteries in there. And again, they are huge. Let's see if I can show you the comparison here. So I don't, I could get like, at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could get eight batteries in the same space and that'd be 89,000 watts of power and I only have two in there. So just kind of showing you, this thing right here is maybe 20 pounds. Each of those is 160 and this is more watts. So 1,200 and I only got a thousand out of that. So that is pretty awesome. All right, I got it hooked up. I have an 80 watt SIGS and an 80 watt SIGS hooked up to my Victron solar charge controller. I've got it set for 13.9 volts. I don't like to go any higher than that. Um, if you disagree with me, go to the off-grid garage and watch all of his videos. It's, uh, it's like really 13. 13.65 is 100%, like right at the beginning of 100%, and all the way up to like 14.8 is still 100%, but you're just, you're cramming minute amount of electrons in the battery, and uh, I think that's how you expand it and everything. So I go to uh, 13.65, I'm going to 13.9 on here just to get just a little bit more, but anyway, um, I'll share a screenshot, uh, we're partly cloudy, but I've been getting like 170 watts out of these, uh, 160 watt SIGs, so can't recommend those. They're expensive, but they are awesome. Um, so we'll see how many watts, watt hours, really watts, um, go into this battery and then that'll kind of tell us what it shipped with and we'll go from there. Hey guys, so what I thought I'd do 
is that little or 12 volt battery. Let's make it into a more usable contraption. So I found this box. I'll put a link to everything. Um, I think it's like 30 or $40. And I found this shunt right here. And I got this solar charger component. I got some USB chargers. I got my cigarette lighter. I got another USB. Crap. Another USB. So it's got a USB. I think it's A and C. So those are high voltage, wattage, whatever you want to call it. Um, this will connect my solar panels straight in. And then I've got my solar charge controller. <clears throat> but this battery is so small. Um, I thought instead of like sticking a whole bunch of stuff to it, this case fits perfectly. So what I'm wanting to do is put the uh, shunt here. And so what that'll do is tell me exactly how much capacity state of charge I'm at. Um, and then on this side, this will be, I'll plug this in and that will put solar into my charge controller. And then I wanted to stick these guys um, around here or possibly like in the top. And what that'll do is it'll make it a lot nicer uh, to carry around and charge up. And uh, I think it'll be pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is um, I've got enough clearance in here too, because these are low profile. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy in and try to figure out, I think I wanna put like this one here, this one here. Um, I wanted to put the uh, solar component here and these guys I might just stick like here on the side. So I'm gonna play with it for a little bit and uh, go ahead and start cutting. All right, so I think I figured out what I wanna do. So this guy is gonna go here and when I get it hooked up, I'll show you some more. I gotta wire all this stuff in. But I really want this to be on top. I think that'll look good. Um, there we go. Flush mount right inside of here. Um, I would, it would look nice if I did like this on this side, but this is gonna be for my um, cooler. And my thought is, is I threw this in the truck and then I wanna plug, I wanna plug that into it. And I figure this, I want it to lay down. So I'm gonna stick this guy um, right here. And then the solar right here. I figure if I put it outside, I'll lay this down and I'd like that plug right here for the solar. And then what I'm gonna do is take these two guys, which are just more USB, and I'm gonna stick one on this side and one on this side. And what I figure I do is like, a whole bunch of devices can plug in here and on the top. I think, I think that'll look nice. I can always add some more, but I'm um, gonna go ahead and get cutting. Check out how awesome that looks. Plenty of room down inside here. So I'm gonna cut probably this guy and this guy. All right, so I'm liking how this is turning out. So I've got the this, basically the brain. I've got two USB. I've got right up here on the front. This is where my solar panels will plug in. 
this right here is where my cooler will plug in. And there's plenty of room right here. And then if I set it down or even like we're on its side, then I've got these right here. And so this is a USB-C, A, C, A. So I think this is gonna be pretty slick. So now, all I need to do is wire it up. So I got the battery here, and it's all because this this dude right here is so small, and it's uh, it's twelve hundred watts. Um, like I said, that thing right there is uh, really overkill, but it it works. All right, guys. So I got her all wired up here. Got this uh, the solar panel one. And just routed the wires down and ran it up to the shunt and uh, I've got the LCD screen plugged into here and this this comes from the solar into here this goes to the load side of the shunt <sighs> positive of the battery um, then I've got another wire routes over here to this guy and um, what it does, this is the um, cigarette lighter. And then I've got these guys connected in and this guy connected in. Um, so let me shut it here. So this thing's kind of cool. I think. I'm just going to set it down here. So I, th I think it's pretty awesome it's low profile except for that screen on the front and then I've got on the side over here you can connect these pieces in it but here's the screen and um, what it does is so the battery is at 100% um, zero amp drawn off of it. it says 99 hours 59 minutes left right now and so this is probably the uh, Victron unit it's 0.05 amp so less than a watt there um, if I turn this on I get a little bit um, and then I've got battery here I get it plugged up so this is just a MagSafe battery um, I'll plug it in to here somehow. There we go. So you can see it's uh, drawing some voltage, some wattage, I'm sorry, and uh, starting to pull that down. Um, it did get as high as like 20, 20 watts. Um, the side one, it'll do the same thing. What I'm wanting to do now is plug that cooler in. So let's uh, pick this up. I'll get this opened up here. So this cooler's got a cigarette lighter. And what I wanted was this to plug in. So now the cooler's on. And uh, she's running and charging this battery and running the cooler. I'm at 59 watts, so nothing, hardly. I did, I said, I thought I set that to 100 amps. Uh, maybe I need to replay with that, <clears throat> but that cooler. It didn't draw anything at all. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll let this sit for a little bit and then I'm going to plug the solar into it because we got a nice sunny day. But I'll let this run for, where are we? We're like 4.30. I'll let it run for 10 or 20 minutes and um, let it pull some current off of here. But I think, I think this thing is awesome now. You know, I don't know what I got in this, 80 bucks, but 
this thing is sweet. And just kind of compress compressions that in there. I think it's all kind of nice and neat. Um, this guy right here will keep the battery from going that way. I'll probably try to get it more rigid in there, but we've got plenty of room for for all of this stuff. All right, guys, so I got my two panels. They are filthy, but I've got them running in series and connected up to my case and checked it with the Victron and it's accurate. Um, so we're getting 60 watts coming through there uh, to charge it up. And so I have the Victron set to 13.9 and I told this when it goes to 13.9 to reset to 100%. So we'll see how that works. But I like this. I can, um, it's like really rugged. So I've got that plugged in there. I can see exactly what's going on. Um, I've got my charge here, stick my cooler in there. And then I still got four more on that side. So I love this. This thing is awesome. And uh, it's all because that little battery in there. I still can't believe that that battery has more capacity than my 8D over here at 160 pounds. 245 amp hour uh, 8D 12 volt battery those are in parallel going to a 3000 watt inverter but i could stick two of these guys together and it'd have more um what four almost 500 more watts uh, than this i got a a thousand two thousand out of each of those before the inverter shut off and i've got this little guy inside of this little suitcase here this, so cool and uh you know we're getting 60 watts we don't have i don't know if you can tell we've got um the smoke from the fires and stuff in my those are dirty but this thing is sweet um i think i'll probably charge this up and then um pull it off and uh, do like a little summary of it, but um, it's pretty sweet. Well, I finished up my battery. I got all my parts in. So um, kind of doing a, a final review here. So I've got my box that I got from Harbor Freight and this is my battery monitor. So it shows the amount of amps and watts being pulled, the current volts. It's a 100 amp battery, and so it shows how much uh, amps I've got, and then this is time left. Um, I ended up, this right here goes to my Victron Stoller charge controller that's inside, and uh, I can charge my batteries with solar panel. I've got these LED lights, so if I turn them on, um, this shows I've got six watts being pulled out to run those. So I can turn those on and off. And then I put a switch over here and I put some fans in. So I've got a little teeny fan right here sucking in and I've got another one over here blowing out. And so that just gives me a little bit of cooling through that case. That also, that turns on my outlet here and also my cigarette port and then it also turns these guys on which is the USB A and C so those fans both of them are 1.6 watts so nothing um, so I can turn that off and then the other thing I hooked up is an Anderson plug and so what I can do with it is plug 
one of these in there. So all I gotta do is just plug that straight in and I got power to it. So this is what she looks like inside. So this is that red Odeo battery. It's kind of a mess in there, but um, it's got the teeny little battery, 100 amp, 12.8 volt. So 1,280 watt hours of power in there. Um, got all my wiring. So then I've got USB cables so I can plug into everything. Got my Victron solar charge controller up here. So I don't know, I love this thing now, it's awesome. So I can shut this and uh, take it anywhere I want. So it was pretty cool. So thank you, Red Odeo, for the uh, battery. I hope um, they asked if I do a video with it, and I said, of course. So hope this is kind of above and beyond. This It's awesome. I'll put a link to everything that I use in there. Um, I guess if, you know, if somebody wants a case, I could build one. Okay, guys, so here's a perfect example of the usefulness of this. So I've got my mini split over here and I've got a kind of a dirty intake and I've got my air compressor and I don't have an outlet over here. And what I can do is I've got my plug here in my inverter. So I just measured it. This thing peaks to like 1800 watts. So I've got this inverter which handles it. I just plug it into my power pack and uh, Away she goes. So, works pretty nice. Pretty cool. Hey guys, so I'm gonna add this to my Rododo. So this is kind of what I've made it for. So I've got my battery box here. I've got my small uh, AC adapter. So I just plug it in with the uh, Phoenix connector. But um, you can see it's got 35 watts. So running a computer, um, we've got to go to a, uh, we don't have to, we are going to a funeral today, um, an hour and a half away, and wife's got to do some work um, there and back, so this will allow us to run on there and then also to keep things charged up, so this is exactly what it is, so what would be interesting, so we're at uh, 91%, um, so we're going to run there and back, and uh, we'll see what it is when we come home, so this is exactly why I have it. Well, we just got back and this is at 81%. So um, we are leaving tomorrow to go to a uh, canoe trip, kayak trip or something like that. And uh, we're gonna bring my big cooler. So what I'm gonna do, the clouds cleared and I got some sunshine. I don't know what my bus is at today, but uh, I am going to throw some solar panels out and get this charged up um, because we're going to get the cooler and uh, go kayaking tomorrow. So I want this to be full charge and then I'll throw this in the back of the truck with the cooler and uh, we'll be able to have drinks and uh, have lunch because I think we're going to get there at 10. It's four hours long. That'd be two. So I'm sure everybody be cranky and hungry on the way home, but um, this will get us there. So. Yeah, we went, it's an hour and a half trip there, an hour and a half trip back, and the computer was plugged in the whole time and it only went to 82%. So to charge this case up, uh, cause I've got the solar MPP in there, I've got this connector on the front and I got this connector, which then goes to the MC4 to 280 watt um, SIGs solar panels. So I can go ahead and uh, Plug that in, and then uh, those are in the sun. So then, should see some uh, it's sunny outside. Let me see here if we can get it. So there it goes. It's uh, almost five o'clock, so I don't have one. I think twelve thirty is direct sunlight. So if I aimed them a little bit different. Um, so I've got 110 watt pumping in there. 
Um, and again, this is, uh, it's off my solar panel or my um, MPPT. But yeah, there we are. Gosh, can't see it, 108 watts. So I'm sure if I tilted these, the sun's that way. Um, if I tilted those, it'd be more, but I think that'd probably charge it up. So we went on our canoe trip. I got the cooler in the back of the truck. I got my battery back here. Got 98% left. Got a nice cold drink. It's perfect. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you follow my Camp Prevo videos, uh, Dr. Prepare sent out a battery. So I did a video on it and Red Odeo, they sent out the battery. So I've got my box here and I love both of them. Um, they're both great uh, batteries. The Dr. Prepare, it's uh, pretty awesome. It's got this uh, USB thing built into it and uh, this guy. And what I did was I went ahead and I opened the top up and I like this so much and it was only like 40 bucks. I uh, stuck this on there so I know exactly what the um, state of charge is. And I liked these lights. So what I did was I bought two more and I put a switch on there. And then I also cut a hole to put this Anderson connector in that way I don't have to have, I still can use it, but uh, that way I can plug my um, inverters into it. This one's a smaller one, more low profile. I think it's 300 watt RMS. This one's 1200 and they both have these connectors. Um, the other, so to charge it, I can use my two panels I'm getting quite the uh, collection here, but um, I've got a charger. Um, I ended up, I don't go anywhere without these anymore. I take these two batteries in that set power cooler with me. Um, they're just too awesome to use, not or not, not to have. But uh, we went on our last trip when we went to Pennsylvania I didn't put it in the video that I've got out, but when we were there, there was a big storm that came through and it knocked the power out. And I had both of these batteries with me. So we were able to, we let them use our cooler. So they were able to put some of their perishables inside of uh, that cooler instead of uh, going to waste. And then the kids were able to charge iPads and phones and stuff like that. And then they had a light um, that was all before I had come, but, um, just wanted to say thanks for watching. Um, I've got a Camp Prevo video coming out from our uh, East Coast trip. It'll be the same time. Um, but I had noted in here for this Hunley garage, uh, cause nobody seems like everybody that watches the bus video doesn't care about the battery and this but I like it so I just created another channel but at any rate um, the jet ski video I'm trying to finish it up but um, I had some issues with the the carb the, the way it was running and so I got an ultrasonic uh, washer cleaner so I just got it so I'm gonna try to um, use that this weekend and ultrasonically clean the carbs. I also got a rebuild kit. Um, there's a lot of diaphragms and this stuff's 25 years old. Um, I did find a jet in there that was clogged. I'll show you that in the video, but my hope is get this cleaned up, um, bring it back up to the lake and, and uh, put it on and uh, hopefully it's running. And if it's running strong, I'm gonna put it up for sale and then try to get um, try to get something else in here. I did have the scooter, we ended up selling it. Um, so I'd like to get the jet ski going, get it sold and get a 
like a dirt bike or a four-wheeler or a UTV in here and tear it apart and put it back together. Um, just do a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, I've also got a soft start video coming out. I'm probably going to put it on this channel because nobody watches anything. If I do, if I put a non-bus video on my Camp Prevo, like 400 people watch it. And so I'm thinking it may do better on a different channel. So all that to say, uh, thanks for watching. Um, this is fun. I've enjoyed the battery. Uh, thank you, Red Odeo, um, for the battery for that. I'll probably end up putting this on both channels. Um, and then Dr. Prepare as well. Love that battery too. Um, so thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe. Really helps with the algorithm. And we'll see you on the next one.